Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness when at Mirabah and Massa. They challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Brightness of the Father's glory, springing from eternal light, source of light by light engendered, day enlightening every day. In your everlasting radiance, shine upon us, Christ, true Son, bringing life to mind and body through the Holy Spirit's power. Father of unfading glory, rich in grace and strong to save, hear our prayers and come to save us, keep us far from sinful ways. Dawn is drawing ever nearer, dawn that brings us all we seek, Son who dwells within the Father, Father uttering one word. Glory to the God the Father, glory to his Holy Son, glory now and through all ages to the Spirit Advocate. I lift up my heart to you, O Lord, and you will hear my morning prayer. To my words give ear, O Lord, give heed to my groaning, attend to the sound of my cries, my King and my God. It is you whom I invoke, O Lord, in the morning you hear me, in the morning I offer you my prayer, watching and waiting. You are no God who loves evil, no sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their ground before your face. You hate all who do evil, you destroy all who lie. The deceitful and bloodthirsty man the Lord detests. But I, through the greatness of your love, have access to your house. I bow down before your holy temple filled with awe. Lead me, Lord, in your justice, because of those who lie in wait. Make clear your way before me. No truth can be found in their lie and their mouths, rather. Their heart is all mischief. Their throat a wide open grave, all honey their speech. All those who protect shall be glad and ring out their joy. You shelter them, in you they rejoice, those who love your name. It is you who bless the just man, Lord. You surround him with favor as with a shield. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, all justice and goodness comes from you. You hate evil and abhor lies. Lead us, your servants, in the path of your justice, so that all who hope in you may rejoice with the Church and in Christ. I lift up my heart to you, O Lord, and you will hear my morning prayer. We praise your glorious name, O Lord, our God. Blessed may you be, O Lord, God of Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. Yours, O Lord, are grandeur and power, majesty, splendor, and glory. 
for all in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours, O Lord, is the sovereignty. You are exalted as head over all. Riches and honor are for you, and you have dominion over all. In your hand are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. Therefore, our God, we give thanks and we praise the majesty of your name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We praise your glorious name, O Lord, our God. Adore the Lord in his holy court. O oh, give the Lord, you sons of God, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Adore the Lord in his holy court. The Lord's voice resounding on the waters, the Lord on the immensity of waters, the voice of the Lord full of power, the voice of the Lord full of splendor, the Lord's voice shattering the cedars. The Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf and Syrian like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice flashes flames of fire. The Lord's voice shaking the wilderness. The Lord's voice the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord's voice rending the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. The God of glory thunders in his temple. They all cry, Glory! And the Lord sat enthroned over the flood. And the Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. You live forever, Lord and King. All things of the earth justly sing your glory and honor. Strengthen your people against the evil that we may rejoice in your peace and trust in your eternal promise. Adore the Lord in his holy court. A reading from Exodus chapter 19. You have seen for yourselves how I bore you up on eagle wings and brought you here to myself. Therefore, if you hearken to my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my special possession, dearer to me than all other people, though all the earth is mine. You shall be to me a kingdom of priests, a holy nation. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare, from those who would trap me with lying words, and from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. You have been blessed by my Father. Come and receive the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and holy and righteous in his sights all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You have been blessed by my Father. Come and receive the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Praise to Jesus our Savior. By his death he has opened for us the way of salvation. Let us ask him, Lord, guide your people to walk in your ways. 
God of mercy, you gave us new life through baptism. Make us grow today by day in your likeness. Lord, guide your people to walk in your ways. May your generosity today bring joy to those in need. In helping them, may we find you. Lord, guide your people to walk in your ways. Help us to do good and do what is good, right and true in your sight, and to seek you always with undivided hearts. Lord, guide your people to walk in your ways. Forgive our sins against the unity of your family. Make us one in heart and in spirit. Lord, guide your people to walk in your ways. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer Christ himself taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, through our observance of Lent, help us to understand the meaning of your Son's death and resurrection, and teach us to reflect it in our lives. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. The Lord be with you, and with your Spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.